Hey guys, what's up? It's Avita Slate Tarot. I did get started a little late last night, so I don't know if everybody was able to catch me. I was having a little bit of issues with my internet, um, and of course my recording equipment, because I use my laptop. And until I can get another one, I gotta deal with it. But, um, alright guys, so let's get into this. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're vibing. Also, if you think somebody else might get something from the video, please share it. My information is in the description box. If you have any means of donations, um, it would really help me right now. I am in between trying to find uh, another job. I do have something temporary coming up this coming up week, but for now, this is all I have. So it does really help me for the holidays, especially. Um, also, if you want a personal reading, you could either catch me on my lives, which is usually on Saturdays and sometimes during the week, I'll let you know. And then, um, or you can reach out to me on email and I'll do a personal. Alright. Oh, here comes the itchy again. Always happens when I start my videos. Alright, so, I don't know if any of you guys caught me last night on my video. Um... Usually if you're not there, most of my videos, after about an hour, I lock it down, okay? I was talking about somebody from your past. They sent somebody in to you. If this did, wasn't from your past, it could be happening now, but this is somebody that you may not have known that was either that did prostitution on the streets um, or was a stripper okay and this is nothing against anybody who does that okay I'm not saying anything about them but I feel that it's wrong when you're with somebody and you don't tell them this and they have you're having a relationship with them this person was paid to come into your life and that everything at first was just chemistry it seemed like maybe it was passionate maybe romantic um, the sex was amazing okay and just to let you guys know if you're very easily triggered, you might want to change the video because sometimes, depending on what energy I pull on, I can cuss. Um, I can, I just, I just go with the flow, guys. Okay, just letting you know in case you guys take offense, anybody takes offense to it. But um, I was this person. There was a lot of chemistry, um, but they didn't tell you this. They didn't tell you that they did this for a living and that's why they were really good in certain situations when it came to I mean I really feel a lot of this is covered around sex and intimacy and being sensual but the intimacy may not have been real at first and then I feel that this person ended up like falling in love with you um, the only thing is is they don't know how to be in relationships and they couldn't tell you the truth which made them even more um, hostile made them more um, angry and that's what probably made this person lash out more and you guys might have thought they gaslighted you a lot you may have called them out on things or said you've seen things and they would say you're crazy or I don't know what you're talking about um, that's them gaslighting you and um, I feel that this happened a lot there might even have been abuse it could have been if it wasn't physical it could have been um, mental emotional um, spiritual okay you may have even had a near-death experience with this person um, when you're with them or maybe before or after this I feel that it was with them or it was after um, this person may have been poisoning you. Uh, you could have been in coffee or in some kind of drinks. It was a little at times so you wouldn't even you couldn't even tell. They um, would put it was like something that was like translucent and you could barely taste it. Uh, but you definitely could. You felt like um, sometimes all of a sudden you may have felt. Uh, how do you explain it? Like like a psych like a psychedelic feeling. Uh, like you were like on an acid trip or something um 
for the people who haven't ever done stuff like that, it's you, if you were poisoned, you know what I meant though. You just, your body feels different. You feel like you're di in a different world in a different time zone. Okay. But anyways, this is, this person was paid to come towards you. And, uh, spirit's been telling us to look at things from a different perspective. Okay. This is why spirit wanted us to know that this is one of the reasons this person couldn't open up to us is because either they were part of these um, Freemasons, Eastern Stars, something, some kind of secret society, okay? Um, I'm getting that um, one of these people now, if this was a, a guy, then um, I'm picking up on a warlock. If it was a female, then she was probably a witch working with the warlock. Because I was picking up on a witch and a warlock. Okay. Alright, so let's see what's going on. Alright, really. Sorry, I have something in my mouth. My. I was eating candy. <laughs> and I can feel it. I apologize. Okay, so. Um. Yeah, I didn't really, like, I pulled on it a little bit yesterday, but I, I didn't finish because I wanted to get everybody to see this video that needed to see it. Alright. Divine Father, Mother, Ancestor, Spirit, Guides, and the Most High, please surround us and fold us and protect us with your light. Anyone sending any spell work, evil light, or negative intentions towards us, please send it back with full forgiveness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Archangel Michael, we please protect us this time. Also... I was picking up, I don't know if you guys ever got to my community board. I had a video on there about an ex-cop that was a Freemason. That he quit though. He was like a, he was a third degree. He said it only goes up to 33. Um, but once he found out that it was, they were actually um, like worshipping Lucifer and not God is when he decided to leave and you know Lucifer is like a, a falling angel right um but that he explains a lot of stuff on there but a lot of these officers and he'll even say it are in this brotherhood and I was singing that song from um the four non blondes where she says in this brotherhood of man and I used to wonder why that would stick out to me Something about that. I don't know if you guys uh, have heard that song. Alright, so let me go ahead and... They make you feel like you're int institutionalized, you know? Is what I was getting. Like, you, like the gaslighting and, the, and saying that you don't know what you're talking about. And, um... Just, just making you feel like you're crazy when you're really not, right? Not saying that there aren't people out there that do need medication that aren't bipolar or schizophrenic or anything like that, because there are, okay? But when you can discern the difference between being clairvoyant and, and being able to understand your ego voice in your head and, you know, spirit, and then having actually somebody talking to you from outside your mind in your head, or you're talking to yourself there's there's a difference now I'm not a doctor guys now I'm not a psychiatrist but I'm just saying that a lot of these people you may have actually spoke about certain things and they they would do this and this was a gaslighting to tell you to make you feel that way to, to try to get you back in your head and get you back to sleep okay they don't like it that we're awake healing so you could be going through a healing process right now okay
I have it you're going through like a healing you alchemize like energy a lot that comes towards you it's like that fireball that you get when somebody throws it at you and you grab it and you just you know like you take it like this and you just alchemize it and then you throw out what you don't need you know your energy is doing this it's your spirit your spirit guides your ancestors they're helping you something about your light does this okay yeah these people you have a lot of hope you come out of this darkness there was a lot of darkness around you and you got pulled into the light And I'm showing, I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of hope for your future. You know that you are destined for greatness. And you may be being like a hermit lately. Um, a lot of soul searching, a lot of inner guidance. Yeah, because you're going through a transformation. And see they don't understand they may have sent anubis towards you anubis is like um uh egyptian there he was the one that like is from the underground for like depression and um they sent him towards you like sadness depression um stuff like that and when he was when they um, called upon him and he seen who they were calling him to go after, they were using some kind of sex ritual. And they don't, they don't realize what they did. By them trying to sacrifice you, they're sacrificing their own. So they're sacrificing one of their own children I feel like this is like a sister or a brother um, that did this. It could have been an aunt or an uncle or all of them. I feel like there is some, um, as much as I don't like to say it, there might be some incest in the family. something about that but yeah he he <laughs> I dreamed about him I actually uh, talked about it in one of my videos he was in my, one of my dreams and he came to me he wanted me to show him who I can't remember how it went he wanted me to show him who I guess these people were smuggling pe they were smuggling people and drugs trying to sell it and sell them and Anubis came, but he came and he talked to me. He, he, and see, Anubis isn't really a dog, but he looks like a dog. But he came as a dog in my, my, my vision, but he was talking to me. And next to him was like a, a private eye, like an investigator. And um, I was in the bathroom. I, I came out, everyone was gone. But they were all in the parking lot trying to get away because they knew they were about to get caught. And it was something about somebody's brother that somebody was trying to hide out in this house, in the room. But we went looking for them and they were trying to find a ride to get away. They were trying to skip. Like, they were trying to um, go to a different country or something. The fact that I'm pulling it up now and that I'm talking about him, something might be going on there. Anything else, Spirit? Okay. I feel very zoned today. I don't know if you guys feel like that. It's been raining most of the day over here. Very uh, gloomy. But I feel that um, God was cleansing things. Cleansing things out. Maybe um, we need to cleanse. You know, um, spiritual bath, sage, salapantos. Which I just did the whole stage salapantos. I'm about after this to do my spiritual. 
um, my spiritual path. They're sending a lot of um, monitoring spirits towards us right now, so it's very important that we um, keep our areas <clears throat> clean and um, cleansed so that we don't have to worry about that. Like clutter, um, which I had an issue with that sometimes because I had I had a lot of stuff and I, I've been giving it away, donating it um, because I'm ready to go. If, if there was a chance for me to up and leave, hey, all I need is my cards and my Bible and I'm good, right? Um, oh, and my journals. But um, we have to be ready to go, you know? You know, unless, like, of course, everyone's different on where, where their journey is, okay, guys? But um, anyway, so it's just about making sure there's not a lot of clutter. You clear your space, you clean up and stuff like that. I can tell you guys some stories, but that's actually what I used to do at the beginning of my videos, but I stopped doing that. That was before um, things calmed down a little bit. Waves, emotions coming and going. So there's a lot of waves of emotions right now. You guys may be feeling this. What else, Spirit? What else does the collective need to know? I'm hearing roses. Maybe you like roses or you like red. Red roses? Alright, um, somebody wants to go on a vacation or a hideaway. Maybe they, what did I tell you? Somebody wants to hide away. Somebody wants to get away. So they may be trying to skip the country. I feel like, you know, everybody has rules no matter what. Like, they say they don't, but they do. When it comes to this, um, these warlocks and Freemasons and all that, right? Everybody has their, um, levels and everything. And they also have certain rules. And I feel that they broke some kind of rules and now they've been being put out there. And people are starting to find out their secrets that they're not supposed to speak about. And so now these people are wanting to leave because not only that, but they're being haunted by your ancestors. I heard that, like, they made voodoo dolls of you and these voodoo dolls are coming back <laughs> as your ancestors, um, basically haunting their ass. I keep hearing they're not going to get away with it who these people think they are. I kept hearing that the other day. Oh, was a song. Who do you think you are? Mr. Big Stuff. Driving in your fancy car. So somebody might be like in a really fancy car thinking that they're big shit and they're not. Um, yeah, my hand's itching so maybe you have some money, money, money coming in. Money, 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 money. Alright, so there's a lot of rage right now. Um, pressure cooker. They're ready to explode. I heard that like your you have something coming to you, whether it's um, an estate, money, um, some kind of bond, um, something that was left to you. They kept taking everything that was left to you, but there's one that they have not been able to get their hands on, and they can't get their hands on it. And I was picking up that somebody's been like watching by the window trying to get the mail all the time. Um, and they did do mail fraud in the past, but I feel that they may have changed the name back. And um, so now they're checking the mail. They could have paid neighbors or kids down the road to come get your mail in the past. Um, something about that. Okay, so we got, there's definitely a lot of rage, pressure cooker. Where am I at? 19 minutes. Okay. Yeah, so surviving, they're, they're about surviving this hamster wheel daily, the daily hustle. The daily hustle. Alright, one more. Drama queen. This drama queen's been coming out. 
thirsty, causing chaos. Now remember, all energies, it could be a he, a he, it could be a she. Okay. But there's definitely, I'm pulling on his drama queen. Look what's on the bottom. She's been doing a lot of spell work. A lot of speaking. She's been speaking a lot over your name, basically. Alright, what else, Spirit? Yeah, they want to stop your abundance. <clears throat> You're in the Nine of Pentacles right now, and you have your spirit animals, too, coming down and protecting you. Spend some time in nature and listen. Do some meditation with your eyes closed and listen to the birds. They're giving you messages. So, they've been attacking your root chakra. They tried to stop your, like, your generational wealth and your, all the seeds that you've been planting. Yeah, so... They try to do something to your root chakra when they did this spell work to stop your money, to stop your creativity that you've been using to, you know, to move forward, to, to pay bills, you know, um, they're trying to get their hands on something that you may have. I've been telling you guys to journal. I feel that some of you guys do and that they want to get their hands on your journal or maybe it's something that you keep information in that you just write about things. Um, now, there was also a book that was left to you by a past on loved one, but I feel that they already got their hands on it. Now, if they didn't, they may be thinking you have this. There's something that they want though. And they want to send a decoy in. So, right now they've been doing the spell work though on your root chakra. Yeah, using this devil energy. Um, working with these cults. And that's the thing, they try to say, like, um, someone has said something to me about being in a cult or something. I'm like, no, I do this alone. Like, I share my stories with you guys, and I, I, I want to have, like, give you guys how I did it, how I got on my spiritual, you know, path, what I do, I give you guys guidance on my, you know, messages I get in, from my life also, but you guys take what resonates and leave the rest behind, right? I don't work with a group of people, I don't do spell work, I actually pray, I am actually a prayer warrior. You know, yes, I use white candles, but that's for spirit. You know, I actually light it to spirit, to God, to the angels. Okay? Um, I use these tools for my messages to help clarify them. So, I just want to make sure that I put that out there for whoever doesn't understand that. And I'm not against anybody who is. Right? Everybody has their own beliefs. We are chosen, and everybody's unique in their own way, right? They don't want you to speak this truth. They feel that you may have been writing about this. Something about that. Unless it's like a cell phone that maybe you do pictures on. Some people do notes on their cell phone. I'm just picking out, I'm picking up on something that you do, that they want to get their hands on. It could even be that you draw, that you have like a book of drawings. Or pictures, right? Something. You can even do videos of 
of things or taken pictures of things of, as, as evidence. There's something that they want and they're working really hard to get it. But you're protected. Yeah, you're definitely protected, guys. So, um, the angels are behind you and they're guiding you. So you got, you got guidance, okay? They don't want you to worry about a relationship right now if you're not in one, okay? That will come to you when it's, when it's rightful time, okay? When you're not looking is when it happens. And it's hard when you're alone and when you're, you're just ready. But I'm just giving you the message that I'm getting. They want you to work on yourself first. If you're already in a relationship and you're in love, then yes, you know, work on that relationship too, but still you need to spend some time alone and work on yourself, on your, um, like loving yourself and feeling good about yourself. And, um, you probably do, but this is just what I'm getting. Um, and that way, some, something about spending time meditating alone so you can get these downloads. They have a lot of messages for you, is what I'm trying to tell you. That are, it's really going to help you. But this is going to be another gift. Okay? God's going to make sure that you're with somebody that's going to make you happy. You need to make sure that this person is also is chosen, is gifted. In some way, some aspect, right? They have... They have a, a belief too. That way they don't make you feel any different. Because you deserve somebody that is on their path. Okay? That doesn't mean that they have to have exactly the same likes and beliefs. But, you know, you just, you just deserve somebody that's going to be right there with you. Okay? But, um... So this is what I got. I don't know if you could see it. But. It's going to work out. It always does. And spirit is keeping you guys ahead. Ahead of the game. Okay. Alright. Let me get you guys an angel card. But yeah, that's what they're trying to do right now. They feel like you might have information on this group. But I feel that if you're the high priestess or the high priest, you don't talk about that kind of stuff. Like, not that it's, sometimes I guess it is alien to other people. Like, they don't understand that they're not awoke yet. But it's still something that, that's, that's why you have the Book of Secrets. There it is, the Book of Secrets. Because you're not one of those people that go around gossiping like, Hey, do you hear this? Hey, do you know this? Do you... That's not you. Maybe in the past you might have here and there. Or maybe you just, things would bother you and you would talk about them. And people would misinterpret them and make it seem like gossip or whatever. But I feel that you're not one that goes around and gossips on people. And you have a book of secrets about these people. About this ex. Could have been either even a family member if it's not a, a relationship. It could have been all of them though too. You could have been getting downloads from your ancestors, spirit guides, and writing them down. Um, your downloads and stuff like that. Live your joy. Thank angel. Thank your angels for supporting you as you follow your joy. I'm definitely like I've been getting these downloads like crazy today. I've, I've been in a zone. New beginnings. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. I've been definitely getting that we're, we're coming into this new beginning. And don't forget the 12, 12 portals coming up. So keep doing what you're doing. Make sure you meditate. Eat good. Eat healthy. Um, if you can fast, fast, especially if you can. Or eat light when it comes to this 12, 12 portal. Signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. 
you guys don't forget to if if you know there's some things that you guys are interested in certain readings that I do I always try to touch on them on my community board so always check out my community board and see what it says where it says videos shorts and all that go to my community part and go in there and see if there's anything that may go with the readings that um, you might want to watch you know because there's some good information that I, I share in that my hair is getting connected to everything that's why I usually have it back but I was just about to do that after this video all right guys um, you guys have a good night and yeah it's already 30 minutes they're doing stuff on on our sacred shot on our sacred maybe our sacred chakra too but on our crown chakra so definitely if you have a way of wearing a hat or something right now for a couple days just try to wear a hat um, or wrap your head when you sleep and um, uh, your root chakra so eat things that are um, like uh, what was it I think it's apples red red uh, fruits vegetables and um, I think brown and yellow so like corn uh, peas stuff like that it's peas are green I don't remember what it was I think it was corn and you can look it up but there's certain foods that you can eat that will help your sacred chakra and fruits like fruits and vegetables and, and stuff all right guys you guys have a good night